In this video, we will show you how to change the RAID settings on the CalDigit T4. The first thing that you will need to do is install the CalDigit Drive Utility software from the included CD or from the CalDigit website. Then connect your T4 to your Mac. At this point, we will warn you that changing the RAID settings on your T4 will erase all the data off the T4. Please only proceed if you have backed up your files onto another drive. In the first part of the video, we'll be showing you how to go from a RAID 5 to a RAID 0 or RAID 1. In the second part, we will show you how to go from a RAID 0 or RAID 1 to a RAID 5. First, open the CalDigit Drive Utility software that is on the top menu bar. If it is not open, you can get it from the Applications folder that can be accessed from Finder, Applications, CalDigit Drive Utility. Once you have opened the CalDigit Drive Utility, click on the Disk Utility section. The first step to creating a new RAID is to delete the previous RAID. Under the RAID Management tab, click on the Delete RAID Sets button. On the next window, click Yes, and on the pop-up window, click on Confirm. The CalDigit Drive Utility will begin to delete the RAID. When this has finished, go back to the Disk Utility section and select the desired RAID mode. In this instance, we are going to make a RAID 0, however the process is the same for making a RAID 1. Select RAID 0, and then in the next window, select all four drives in the T4, and then press Next. In the following window, name the drive. Then click Create, followed by Confirm on the pop-up window. It will take around 30 seconds for the RAID to build, and you will see the T4 mount on your computer. In the next section, we'll show you how to set your T4 to a RAID 5. The process for making a RAID 5 is slightly different to setting the T4 to a RAID 0 or RAID 1. At this point, we'll warn you again that changing the RAID settings on your T4 will erase all data off the T4. Please only proceed if you have backed up your files onto another drive. Open the CalDigit Drive Utility software that is on the top menu bar. Once you have opened the CalDigit Drive Utility, click on the Disk Utility section. The first step to creating a new RAID is to delete the previous RAID. Under the RAID Management tab, click on the Delete RAID Sets button. On the next window, click Yes, and on the pop-up window, click on Confirm. The CalDigit Drive Utility will begin to delete the RAID. When this has finished, go back to the Disk Utility section and select the RAID 5 button. In the next window, select all four drives in the T4, then click the Create button, followed by Confirm on the pop-up window. It will take around 30 seconds for the RAID 5 to build. You can check in the CalDigit Drive Utility device list that the T4 is set to RAID 5. The next step is to partition the T4 in Apple's Disk Utility software. Go to Finder, Applications, Utilities, Disk Utility. On the left hand column, find the CalDigit T4 and select it. Then click on the Partition tab. Under the Partition layout, select One Partition. Under Partition Information, name the drive. Then click the Options button and select Apple Partition Map and click OK. Then click the Apply button followed by Partition. The T4 will partition and then mount onto your computer.